This is the picture book named Vietnam, the Mosaic of Contracts by a French photographer. And this book is full of the beautiful pictures of the landscape in Vietnam and most importantly, the portraits of Vietnamese people all across the country. And for me, the picture on the cover itself bears great inspiration. So how about the inside? Let's find out more. Vietnam Mosaic of Contrasts contains 150 of the best photos that Rehan has taken in Vietnam. Having taken 30,000 pictures at that time, the selection process took him two months. The book was published four months ago, and since then, more than 750 copies have been sold in 27 countries worldwide. The book has brought Rehan fame and helped him to forge friendships with the characters in the collection. I think it's the reason of the success of the book. It's a very special uh, story because I met her when I came the first time in Vietnam in 2007. She's working on, on the river in Hoi An. And I understood that it's, the, it's really Vietnam, I think. All people, poor for this one, but still smile. And this is something that I really like. When you see the poor people, or even old people, but not poor in France, they always look sad. And they are not. Sometimes they are not poor, but they look sad because they're old. In Vietnam, all people smile, and you can joke with them. And it's very special. She, she now she's 77 years old, and um, and I have a special story with her because when I decided to make this cover, I came to ask her. I asked her, what is your dream? She said to me, my dream is to have a new boat. And last week, I gave, I, she came with me and I bought the new boat for her in Hoi An. <laughs> Different faces and moods of Vietnamese children and elders captured by Rehan Han were showcased at an exhibition titled Visages in downtown Hanoi last month. Some of the shots can be found in his debut book, while the rest are freshly picked from his photo collection that has expanded to 40,000. According to Ray Han, each of the photos he takes has a story behind it. No, I chose Vietnam for the lifestyle and the happiness of the people. Uh, but anyway, I like the old people and children in the remote area because it's a quiet place. We have time and I like to take the time before taking photos. Sometimes I spend one hour and I start to take photos after one hour. I have more natural photos because I spend the time. It's the secret. It's very easy. If you spend, if you like people, and I'm a people person, I like talking with people, you will have a great picture because after 10 minutes, 20 minutes, people start to be natural again. To Rehan, the peaceful environment and friendly people have made Hoi An his second home. With a restaurant and a gallery in Hoi An, Rehan still spends time traveling throughout Vietnam, including big cities such as Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City, and of course, to far-flung areas. Sometimes uh, Rehan he go to along also, but almost it's all the trip I go with him and uh, the minority they don't speak the English also. So uh, I come and I have him to do something to help for his job. And uh, with me, I always uh, ha happy when to do that because I love children too. Rehan is now preparing for a new book titled Vietnam from the Sky, featuring about 50 images of different cities in Vietnam seen from the air using drone photography. This project is outside of his usual photos, but he wants to learn and will return to his passion for portraits and socializing with local people when it is complete. Hoi Lương, Vietnam Television.